Hello, I'm Lorraine. Um, I got involved with this campaign, this movement, because um, I discovered I watched Gaslands 2 and I, it went to Balkan, which is very close to where my mum lives. And I ended up living on a protest camp for three months and totally changed my life. Um, back then, we could use the F word, the frack word. Um, we didn't have the infrastructure act in place. And I worked with, amongst others, with uh, like a lot of NGOs and a lot of grassroots campaigns trying to fight the infrastructure um, bill, as it was at the time. Um, part of the Infrastructure Act of 2015 talks about how to maximise your the oil and gas recovery in the UK. It's completely against the Climate Change Act of 2008. And what they brought in was a definition on hydraulic fracturing. And that definition was 1,000 cubic metres per stage of frac, or 10,000 cubic metres total. And we were all kind of like, what does this mean? We don't know what this means. This is like, I don't understand why this definition has been put into place. And as time went by, we realised when they started to come down here in the south, in the Wild, and they didn't use the word frac, and it's because they use acidisation. Um, and acidisation is something that uses a lot less water, so they, they can get away without using the word frack. And there's a professor in um, Edinburgh, uh, Professor Stuart Hazeldine, who did a report, it was in The Guardian in 2015, and he said that if you put the definition of what the government has put into place and you take it over to America, 89% of their fracked oil wells would not be classed as fracked. That's 89% of their oil wells. 43% of their gas would not be classed as fracked. So suddenly we started to realise, oh my God, this is, this is what they're doing. They're hoodwinking us. We've got, you know, like the British um, Geological Society, and they put the definition of what's called conventional and unconventional in the Minerals Guideline of 2012. Now, conventional is class, you know, you just drill down, and it flows freely. Unconventional is where you have to use stimulation. And that means that you use techniques like fracking or acidization, coal bed methane, underground gold gas coal gasification. Um, so with this, we challenged the British. There's a group of us, that um, uh, World, World Action Group, um, and we challenged the British Geological Society on what they actually meant by conventional and unconventional. And we managed to get out of them that they actually don't, you know, that they've actually got it incorrect. So we've got companies like UCOG and Angus and Europa that can come into our communities and tell us that it is conventional drilling, that they are not fracking. Now, with this acidization that they use, and I mean, even the term, you only have, I mean, doesn't sound good. You don't even need, you know, like I know no one wants to use the F word, but acidization. I mean, so when we discovered what they were going to do, we, like, there was a lady in Markswell Wood, and they actually won their campaign down there in the South Downs. And we found that we were actually educating the environmental agency on what acidization was by the research that we were doing. In Florida, they're looking at banning acidization. In California, every time they acidise one of their wells, they have to give their communities 24 hours notice. Now, the difference between an acid wash and acidization, like matrix acidizing, and I've got someone in our World Action Group acidizing team here somewhere, yep, um, is that when you acid wash, which has been around for years, this is what you know the industry do to clean their wells. They clean drilling mud out. Once they've stuck their drills down, Quadrilla have just put in for Preston New Road a variation on their environmental permit to acidize their well. And we were like, what? But it's just clean. It's gen that's just cleaning. But what they, so the difference is, is that when you go into an acid wash, you're literally just putting acid, like normally a 15% solution of hydrochloric acid, in about two, one to two metres away from your casing. When you matrix acidise, you do it a lot further away from that. There are more chemicals that are involved with acidisation than there is fracking. And so, you know, down here, it's really hard. I mean, I've been campaigning on this for a few years, and even coming to Leaf Hill, like some of the, I've, someone mentioned about the talk that I did on the Surrey Slings, and everyone wants to go, but they're not fracking here. 
they're not fracking because the government told you that they're not fracking. And even once, like, so even if we take that terminology on and that definition on, once they've got rid of, once they've got that easy stuff out, they will go for the, for the, the difficult stuff. And that will be hydraulic fracturing. Um, when the Tories came out with their uh, manifesto, I was crushed. I was completely crushed. They talked about permitted development for non-fracking sites. That meant all of our sites. This has meant Leaf Hill. This meant Horse Hill. This meant all of these, that they could just come in and not even get permission. Now, we have had Angus out in Brockham, which was, which was gold to us. They went in and they drilled an illegal sidetrack without permission. Now, if you meet, I met this director on Angus site, and you meet these guys, and they are oil men through and through. They don't care anything other than oil and money. And they almost have this attitude like, what, we need permission? You know, it's absolutely crazy to actually speak with these people. They, they don't care. They are in it for the money. There was... In, in um, Borford Bridge in Billingshurst, we had, the local campaign had created so much of a fuss that they, had, um, they did the legal stuff, exactly what they did here in Leaf Hill, to try and paralyse the local campaign. And they brought the media in for a really slick presentation. And at the end, Stephen Sanderson, that little... Shit. <laughs> Thank you, that you saw there... At the end of the presentation, he passed around this little vial of Horse Hill oil, and he passed it around to everyone to smell, and he goes, I love the smell of oil. It reminds me of money. And I had to question one of the journalists there. I'm like, did he? What, what happened there? And he went, he slipped. You could almost see his veneer slipped. You could see exactly what it was all about. You know, so... As, it, as this says, there are 1,200 square kilometres of oil deposits down there. Now, we actually don't know whether they can get to it all, but they are sure as hell going to tell their investors that they can because they are going to want to take the money and they're going to run. You know, they are... It, the amount of money that they've had to raise another £6 million for Broadford Bridge to drill there, and the way that they've gone in there, they've done a variation on their permit so a variation is basically when you put your environmental agency permit in and then you want to change it and you want to change it to something a lot more dangerous. But because you've already got it in, it's a lot easier for them to get the EA to actually like rubber stamp that. So all of our companies that we've got in the world, we've got UCOG, which are drilling down in uh, Broadford Bridge and Horse Hill. They've also got licenses for Isle of Wight. We've got Angus, who are at Brockham and Lidsey, um, and they are existing oil fields. These are old existing oil fields. If you think that it was going to flow freely, why that not it out already? You know, it's an absolute farce. All of these companies are, all of the directors have all got shares in each other. They're all related. They're all going to give you the same spin. And I remember what Ian, and like Ian Gallard and Simon Clough, uh, Clough what they said is that when you sit with these guys, they are so believable. They are so slick. And every bit of material that they put out there is, <laughs> excuse the pun, um, but they, every, you listen to them and they are so believ believable. And it's exactly what they try and do. They try to come in under the radar, right, try and not let any of their communities know, right, and then start drilling with all of their toxic chemicals. And what with the massive problem that we do have, not so much the water. You know, we're here at Leaf Hill, we've got that aquifer, and as Ian, Ivan pointed out, all well casings fail. But we have got massive amounts of fugitive, methane fugitive emissions from this. And we've also got a lot of air pollution. I was reading a report from Scotland who have banned fracking. And it's really quite surprising when you see it on paper. But there's about 7,500... HGV movements on a well pad for its lifetime. Can you imagine what those sunken lanes are going to be like with that HGV going up and down, piling up and down for how many years? It will totally destroy the area. So yeah, we like I just like briefly just across the country, what we've got going on outside the Weald, we've got Preston New Road, which I'm sure some of you are aware where there is massive resistance up there, that is Quadrilla. 
We have got Kirby Mispeton in Rydale, where they're just about to start drilling. <coughs> We've got Misson, which is in Nottingham. We've, uh, we've just won in Wrestle, which is also acidisation. I can't believe that these guys have won against acidisation. Their council are saying no, but ours aren't. The EA just classed acidisation as an acid wash. So there is, you know, and it is about community resistance. And what struck me in this film was when that lady, if you've ever been to Northern Rivers in Australia and all around that, it is beautiful just like Leaf Hill. Le you come to this area and it is magical. Anyone who comes here, it is so beautiful to think that they're going to drill for oil at the top of a hill. But she said something, like if the oil company are coming to Northern Rivers, they must be bloody mad. Yeah. The gas company. If the oil company are coming to Leaf Hill, it's exactly the same. They must be bloody mad. So yeah, um, community resistance, people. You know. So yeah, thank you.